Hello my dear friend, welcome back. I am David Cortez and this is my website www.david-cortez.com On my website you can find a lot of information about software engineering, web development, mathematics, physics, chemistry, etc. So let's start together this video. Uh, today we will do together a C program that uh, asks the user to type five pairs of numbers and it calculates the pair of numbers with the minimum sum and the pair of numbers with the maximum sum. So you can find on my website this PDF. Uh, you can download it, you can print it, you can do what you want. So let's do together this program step by step uh, using uh, code blocks that is an open source cross platform IDE. So create a new project, console application, next, T, project title, we call it maximum and minimum. So maximum dash and dash minimum dash sum and we click next as the compiler uh, we select this new GCC compiler finish okay let's click on this folder sources main.c and we have these uh, these text so this is our uh, program so hashtag include uh, the standard input output uh, library dot h okay hashtag include uh, the standard library dot h this is the main function that returns an integer that is the this zero this zero is uh, basically exit success, so we can write uh, exit success instead of zero. We can delete this and we can start. So we have three integer variables, that is i, that is the index, i max sum, i min sum the index of the maximum sum and the index of the minimum sum then we have uh, five float variables that are number one number two sum max sum and the min sum semicolon at the end so we need a for loop for i that is equal to 1 i less than or equal when n is a constant that we have to define as 5 because uh, we need to read the text this program asks the user to type five pairs of numbers and it calculates the pair of numbers with the minimum sum and the pair of numbers with the maximum sum okay so n is equal to 5 semicolon i plus plus because we need to increment the index so we write print f between parentheses between quotation mark number one is equal to semicolon scan f because we need to read from the keyboard uh, 
percent f because it is a float we need to read a float number and percent because it is a scalar number one semicolon at the end and then we can copy paste changing number two and number two okay then we write a uh, separation so a blank line for separating the text that is the backslash n and then we calculate the sum that is number one plus number two semicolon if i is equal to one so at the beginning max sum is equal to sum i max sum is equal to i min sum is equal to sum and i min sum is equal to i else else if sum is greater than max sum between braces we write max sum is equal to sum i max sum is equal to i semicolon at the end else if sum is less than min sum min sum is equal to sum semicolon and i min sum is equal to i semicolon we need to write this between braces so we need to write print f between parentheses between quotation marks backslash and max sum max sum is equal to percent f then we need a separator pair percent d so this is the percent f because uh, it is a float this percent d because it is an integer so backslash n comma max sum comma i max sum then we can copy this uh, we write here and we write here min sum is equal to percent f separator pair percent d n this is the min sum and here we write i min sum and then return as exit success so let's try we click here build and run on the bug so number one this is a, a, a bug on the line 17 number one plus number two now should be okay so number one we write one number two two three four five six seven eight nine ten so we have the the max sum is the pair five and it is 19 and the minimum sum 
the minimum sum is the pair 1 and it is 3. Okay, so let's try another on release. So this time with negative numbers, minus 1, minus 2, minus 3, minus 4, minus 5, minus 6. Minus 7, minus 8, minus 9, minus 10. So the max sum is the uh, is the minus 3, the pair 1. The minimum sum. The minimum sum we we have uh, it should be pair pair 5. So let's uh, I mean sum so the job of of the software engineer is to find bugs ok so max sum my max sum mm -hmm. Okay, the mistake is this, we need to write here i, not 1. So, retry, let's, re so it is very important to, uh, to test the program, because uh, we can easily find an error. Minus 6, minus 7, minus 8, minus nine minus ten and now it works exactly so the max sum is the pair one minus three and the minimum sum is the pair five minus nineteen so i want to say you a little secret uh, uh, for becoming a software engineering a software engineer you must exercise every day by doing these little exercises so it is fundamental to do this it's like uh, i don't know if you remember the movie karate kid it is wax on wax off every day you need to exercise because uh, um, it is uh, an important method for learning and for remembering uh, how to code because uh, every day you need to do some exercise and on my website you can find a lot of exercises about software engineering mathematics, physics, chemistry, and so on. You can find also games that are written in uh, JavaScript. And uh, I want to remember that, dear friend, your donation is important. Help me update uh, this website and join this uh, community. So, thank you for watching. See you next time. Bye-bye.